Now this this generation, all these people um, are not um, ideal. They're not an ideal setting for the probability to have so many blue-eyed children or whatever. Because what we do is we find the first person we can find generally near to us and marry them and have their children. But we also, we don't have three million children. We have like two or three or four children. Well, that what that's going to do, having less children, is going to bring your probability way up for whatever is the most common. So if brown eyes is the most common, you're really going to get a lot of brown eyed people um, if we just mate indiscriminately. Um, so we are going to have to transform, I, I'd say, our lives to have blue eyed, you know, children that we may not pick first of all um, because otherwise we're going to end up with all brown eyed children and brown haired children um, because of the fact the way we, the way we only have like three or four kids a piece and the way that they're found regionally. Um, so you're really going to get a lot of brown haired, brown eyed people. Um, and that's not, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying it's minus a lot of variety that you would have if you were able to travel and mate with different types of people or, you know, marry different types of people. Um, but instead, we do kind of have what Hitler said was going on where everybody's getting brown eyes and brown hair. But there's other fixes for that, obviously, like like choose, customize your own baby and stuff like that. Um, and two, two, to some extent, just have, have more children would be one way, but then that's against overpopulation. Um, but more children gives you more more variance in the probability um so you'd be more likely to probably have a blue eyed in there somewhere um and you know like four blue eyed children one or four brown eyed children one blue eyed child or something like that but um anyway uh we are we are mating in such a way where we're going to end up with brown haired brown eyed children or hazel eyed children brown haired hazel eyed children um, which is sad because it, it, it would get rid of a lot of the variety. So I don't, I don't think they're going to let that happen though. I think they're going to either be advancements in mutations where they can mutate people to look different ways. And hopefully that passes on to the children too. Like I've always wondered what would happen. Like if you mutate your own eyes to blue, does, or to, if, if let's say you have brown eyes and you mutate your eyes to blue. Like your children, do any of your children inherit the blue eyes from the fact you you made your eyes blue, or do they inherit what they were given at birth, which would be brown eyes, or would they also change to blue eyes? If you could change your own eyes to blue eyes, would it change their eyes to blue eyes? So that that's interesting to note, too, um, because um, you could do it like locally like like okay you have the child in your womb they they have all the features you want only they don't have blue eyes and see if there was some way for them to mutate those eyes to blue in the baby and when the baby grew up with the baby's blue eyes passed down to the children that would be cool if that would actually pass down from mutation but they know that they can selectively engineer it where if you already have a blue-eyed child you know, they can pick that one and pick pick the recessive traits. They can pick those. But I, I think it'd be cool, too, if they could mutate them.